These days we've also been praying for deaneries. Today we have prayed for the deanery of Kalanguth when they came at 9.15 mass here. And just now the Alduna deanery was here at 4 o'clock mass. As we get ready for this celebration, may I inform you that the main celebrant and the preacher for this mass is Father Gabriel Coutinho. He is the parish priest of Our Lady of the Rosary, Navali. We also have in our midst, who will be con-celebrating, Father Aleisha Menezes, the rector of the Rashol Seminary, and Father Lucas Rodriguez, is a pillar priest, is the parish priest of St. Peter's, and chaplain to the Goan community in the UK. I'd like to welcome them, my dear friends, on your behalf and on mine. And we pray that this Eucharistic celebration will be a great means for us to attract God's chosen blessings and graces through the intercession of St. Joseph Vaz. Let us try to participate in this Mass devoutly and also keep one another in prayer. I wish you a, a very happy and a grace-filled celebration this evening where God will bless us abundantly. Good evening and welcome to you, dear brothers and sisters, to this Eucharistic celebration. As St. Joseph was always did, we are called today to respect each other's faith and be open to what they have to teach us and offer to us. As we partake in this Eucharistic celebration, let us sing the hymn, Just Like a Child. Kindly rise. Just like a child who just is for the dew And who delights to feel his presence near Just like a child whose mind is not a doubt And whose heart is never proud Here I go In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as pilgrim people, we the members of the church live in relationship not only with our Christian brethren, but march ahead along with the people of other faiths too. Jesus worked towards building the kingdom of God by accepting and uniting all the people. As Christians, we need to carry forward this mission of Christ by maintaining ties of unity with the people of other faiths. The team that we have reflected on today the seventh day of our spiritual preparation is, let us follow Jesus by maintaining ties of unity with the brethren of other faiths. This seventh day of our novena has been dedicated to the missionary animation, inter-religious dialogue, and friends of St. Joseph Vaz apostolates in the archdiocese. As we pray for those involved in these apostolates and ministries, we ask the grace during this Eucharistic celebration that, as Christ followers, we may receive and accept people of other faiths with love and respect and maintain our ties with unity with them. We also pray for the deaneries of Kalangut and Aldona. 
My dear brothers, we are all pilgrims. And we all have to walk together. As we live in this planet, we all have to journey together. And as we journey together, people are belonging to different faith. We respect each other. We appreciate each other's faith. We value each other's faith. Many a times, we have failed in this area of life. We have excluded many people. And therefore, we fail to realize that we are all people of God. And therefore, let's ask God's pardon and say, I confess, I confess to Almighty to God, God and to you, you my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy on your people gathered here. Christ have mercy on your people gathered here. Lord, we know we have seen in our thoughts, words, and deeds. Lord, have mercy on your people gathered here. Let us pray. Let us pray for all the missionaries. And in a very special way, this Mass is offered in thanksgiving for the favors received by Miss Mrs. Antonia Cardozo and family Verna. Let's place before the Lord through the intercession of Saint Joseph all our prayers, petitions, especially those who have requested us to pray for a child in their family, for court cases, so that their children may have good life partners, and many other needs and petitions. O oh God, through your blessed people without faith, from darkness to the light of truth, grant us through his intercession that we may stand firm in faith and remain constant in the hope of the gospel he preached. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of Apostles. Those who conducted Paul brought to him as far as Athens, and receiving a command for Silas and Timothy, to come to him as soon as possible. They departed. Paul, standing in the middle of the Areopagus, said, Men of the Athens, I perceive that in every way you are very religious. For as I passed along and observed the objects of your worship, I found also an altar with this inscription, To an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you, the God who made the world and everything in it, being Lord of heaven and earth, does not live in shrines made by man, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything, since he himself gives all, to all man life and breath and everything. And he made from one every nation of man to live on all the face of the earth, having determined allotted periods and the boundaries of their habitation, that they should seek God in the hope that they might feel after him and find him. Yet he is not far from each one of us, for in him we live and move 
and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we are indeed his offspring. Being then God's offspring, we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone or a representation by the art and imagination of man. The times of ignorance God overlooked, but now he commands all men everywhere to repent because he has fixed the day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of, he, of this he has given assurance to all men by raising him from the dead. Now when they heard of the resurrection of the dead, some mocked, but others said, we will hear you again about this. So Paul went out from among them. But some men joined him and believed, among them Dionysius the Aeropagate, and a woman named Tamaris, and, uh, and with others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response will be, your glory fills all heaven and earth. Please repeat. Your glory, your glory fills, fills all, all heaven, heaven and earth. earth. Alleluia, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him in all, all his angels, praise him, all his host. Your response, and your glory fills all, all heaven, heaven and earth. earth. All the earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Your response, your glory, Your glory fills, fills all heaven and earth. earth. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Your response, Your, Your glory, glory fills, fills all heaven and, heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to, him, to whom he comes close. Alleluia. Your response? Your glory, Your glory fills, fills all heaven, heaven and earth. earth. Please rise for the acclamation. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Praise be the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. From Genesaret, Jesus arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and would not have anyone know it. Yet he could not be hid. But immediately a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and he begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, let the children first be fed, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And he said to her, For this saying you may go away. The demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
my dear brothers and sisters with deep faith all of us come to this place this holy place and we pray that our faith may be strengthened like saint joseph was's faith for me saint joseph was challenges my priestly ministry every time i read about his life the trials he had the challenges he had i am challenged in my priestly ministry and for him if i see and i look down upon and i see his life i see there was one line that really motivated him was passion for christ is passion for humanity he was so passionate about christ which led him to have passion for humanity and that's why i can say that he went to ceylon irrespective of all the hard hardships that he could encounter suffering that he could encounter in the days to come it is just the passion for christ my dear brothers and sisters today is a day for us to check specially as we are here during this nomi novena days how much passion i have for christ if i have passion for christ then definitely it will be seen in my passion for humanity and this is what we see in his life his life was not free from difficulties free from suffering free from pain he had all you the difficulties that you imagine in your life but yet the divine was with him and therefore he would overcome all those things with the presence of the divine in him he was so much enthused full of the power of jesus in him it is christ who was leading him towards all that he did my dear brothers and sisters today as we are reflecting on the theme that we all have to respect other religious communities as saint joseph has did in india we are living in a multi religious country and as well, as long as we live in india we cannot live a exclusive life we have to include everybody we have to exist and learn to exist with others people of other faith we cannot run away from this reality of life and therefore saint joseph was is an example for us what he did he knew the second predicament or second axiom that he had possibly i read from his life he he possibly thought that if you want peace in the world all the religions have to be at peace if there will be world peace only when there is peace in all the religions and among all the religious people and that's what he understood and that's what today we speak about synodality he did it in those days walking together and one of the things that he did was his very life through his very life he became a bridge between people between catholics and the other people of other faith his very life was so magnanimous so exemplary the king of candy saw that he was a spy of the portuguese and therefore he was imprisoned and once he was imprisoned they understood that he was a very innocent man and they released him my dear brothers and sisters if you really want jesus to be known to others our life should be a reflection of that our life should mirror jesus they will understand whom we give witness to and then the moment they learn whom we give witness to there will be cordiality being uh, report so therefore his life was an example for us to see how he gave witness to christ on the other hand his life of service to the sick to those who were poor 
He never abandoned anybody. Everybody was welcome. Whether he was a Buddhist, whether he was a Calvinist, whoever it may be. Everybody was welcomed. And therefore, he never despised anybody in their sickness, in their loneliness, in their poverty. He welcomed everybody. I still remember when I was down with COVID, I was in ESI hospital and I was in a ward. And in that ward, there were most of the people from Vasco. That time I was in Vasco. And, and there were people from Varnapuri. Most of them were Lamanis. And one of them was a constable. And he asked me, you are a priest? No, I said, yes. Why then they have not given you another room? They should have given you another room. You deserve it. I was happy among them. Because we were all suffering together. I was not selected. Because I was a priest, I was not free from COVID. No. But to, be, uh, to identify myself with them was my joy. My dear brothers and sisters, today, life of St. Joseph Ars is an example for us. How to live among people of other faiths. We are living in our localities, in our complexes, in our buildings, in our apartments possibly. We are working in different public places, private places, government, government places. And as we are walking through life, we encounter people of other faith. Therefore, we need to respect the faith of others. We cannot despise. We, we have to have that inclusive faith, what St. Joseph Ars did in his life. Whenever there are some issues to be fought, we must come together as one community, irrespective of whichever religious community we belong to. Presently, we have in Goa the Made issue. This issue will affect all of us. And therefore, as a religious community, as our faith is seen in action, how we come together as people of God, as human beings. And therefore, he saw everybody as a child of God. And that's why he could bring everybody together. He was challenged by so many things. And he was able to do that because love of Christ urged him on. And I firmly believe that it is only when you are gripped with the love of Christ, you can do miracles like him. We, uh, let us pray today in this Eucharistic celebration that we may have that experience of being gripped by the power of Jesus, by the love of Christ. And it is only when we are gripped with this power of Jesus, with the love of Christ, then we see there will be a lot of things that are happening in our uh, church, a lot of things happening in and around the place we see we live. Let us ask for this grace in this Holy Eucharist so that you and I may become like a bridge between our religion and other religions. Let us not despise because they belong to some other religion. Oh, there is, oh, my religion is superior. No. Let's learn to respect. Maybe by participating in their uh, religious festivals, by showing our concern at the time of their sickness, showing care, maybe when they were, whenever they need us, whoever it may be, as long as everybody is a child of God. Let us have this sort of a mental attitude. And once we have this sort of a mental attitude, we may be able to reach out to others as St. Joseph Ars did. Amen. Kindly stand up. Let us place before the Lord all our prayers and petitions. For the leaders of the church, the priests, and for the men and women religious, that they may grow in the consciousness of their calling to preach the good news.
to all the people and portrayed through their behavior the openness to accept everyone, including those of our other faiths in Mother Church. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray, O oh, oh, Lord, give us your love for the political leaders of our nation, that they may arrive at the true understanding of the beatitude of Jesus. Blessed are the peacemakers, and thus work towards building peace, unity, and goodwill among the people of all faiths. Let us pray to the Lord. Oh Lord, hear us we pray. Oh Lord, give us your love. For those promoting the politics of hatred, that those who try to instill the politics of hatred and division among the people may renew their hearts and minds and work towards and work together towards the freedom of religion appreciation of good in other faiths and learning from other faiths let us pray to the lord oh lord hear us we pray oh lord give us your love for the missionary animation Interreligious dialogue and friends of Saint Joseph Vaz apostolates. That the priests, religious, and laity involved in the work of these apostolates and are serving at various locations may find the strength of Holy Spirit to carry out mission of Christ and of the Church to the intercession of Saint Joseph Vaz. Let us pray to the Lord. For the deaneries of Kalangut and Aldona, that the pastors, the religious, the parishioners from the parishes belonging to the deaneries of Kalangut and Aldona, and all of us gathered for this Novena Mass at this holy place, may be blessed and strengthened in the faith through the intercession of Saint Joseph Vaz. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, we pray. Oh Lord, give us your love. Father dear, you always listen to our prayers. At this moment of time, we have placed before you our prayers, our petitions, our needs. And there are many more things that are going on in our hearts and in our minds. We surrender everything into your hands. And if it is your will, you grant us. Give us that faith which St. Joseph has had, so that being inflamed by that faith, we may live our Christian commitment. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Along with the gifts of bread and wine, let us place before the Lord the whole humanity and all the religion of the world. Let us also offer to the Lord the goodness that we see in our religion in, our in other different types of faith. Let us sing the hymn, We Offer You, O Lord Divine. Your love, send your blessing. 
pray my dear brothers and sisters that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable, acceptable to almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer almighty god and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the lord's passion may imitate what we now do through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come in again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Joseph of us, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ has taught us to call God our Father. If God is our Father, we are His children. We are all children of God, people of God. And therefore, in order to respect other faiths, I must know my faith first. It is only when I know and I have deeper knowledge and understanding of what my faith is then I will be able to not only appreciate my own faith and also appreciate other faiths. I will also make a consistent effort to learn other tenets of other faiths too. So my dear brothers and sisters, Christ came to this world. He had shown us the Father. The love of the Father. Unconditional love of the Father. And therefore, we must be enthused by this love of Christ. Inebriated with this love of Christ. And it is only then, like St. Joseph asked, we will move forward in spreading goodness, in spreading kindness, in spreading forgiveness, in spreading generosity, being magnanimous to each other. So let us ask for this grace as we pray this prayer, dear Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily, our daily bread, and forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And you graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer the peace of Christ to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus. Our Lord and Master, Saint Joseph Vaz was urged by this Christ. We are going to receive this Jesus in our heart. Let us ask for the same grace. Lord, help me to be gripped by your love. Let my passion for you increase day by day. May my faith deepen in you day by day. Happy are those who are going to receive this Jesus. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The heavenly meal is ready. Let us approach the Lord's table with faith and joy. 
you may receive the Holy Communion on your tongue or on the hand. May I kindly request our non-Catholic brethren present here to kindly remain seated. Only Catholics may receive the Holy Communion. As we proceed to the table of the Lord's Supper, let us all sing the hymn, Bind Us Together. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Joseph has labored and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. I wish to say a big thanks to Father Gabriel Coutinho who gave us so much of his time, firstly to celebrate 
this Mass meaningfully and that the breaking of the word in keeping with the theme of the day. Thank you very much, Father Gabriel, for doing this favor to us and uh, guiding us in how to live our Christian life, especially in terms of relating with people of other faiths. It's, so, it's not so easy in today's world. It's not so easy to deal with faiths of different people. But then you made it easy for us, not so easy rather, but then you gave us some guidelines how to go about in such a situation. Thank you very much, Father Gabriel, and, I, and we, we, we ask you to bless you and your, all your work. Navali is a very big parish, and uh, you are doing it so wonderfully well. All the best for you. I also would like to thank Father Alej Shimonezis, whom I introduced earlier, uh, the rector of the Rashal Seminary, and Father Lucas, who is based in UK, for being with us. And, and I'm sure you have prayed for us, you have prayed for us just as we did for you. Please allow me to brief you the program of the Novena and of the Feast. The timings of the Masses in the morning are like this, 6, 7.30, 9.15, it's a dinnery wise pilgrim Mass. And then in the evening we have 4 o'clock in Konkani, which is again a dinnery wise uh, pilgrim, pilgrim Mass, and 6 o'clock is the English Mass. The Masses on Sunday, which is on 5th, we have uh, the first Mass at 5, and then 6.15, 7.30, 9.15, and evening we have 4 and 6, 6 in English. On 15th, we have a special Mass for, for those speaking in Hindi. It's a new introduction in our schedule for the first time. We're trying it out because there are so many people, so many, so many Hindi-speaking people, perhaps for a long time we've not catered to, and we just thought we would try this here. If it goes well, then we continue with that. But then there are so many people, uh, those who maybe don't understand our Konkani and maybe, and there's no other choice. So uh, maybe you also can help us in this endeavor in your neighborhood, in your same building, at, at the workplace. There'll be some people is speaking Hindi and they are Catholics, maybe you can just convey this message to us in spite of our publicity too. The Masses on the feast day are like this, 5, 6.15, 7.30, 8.45. And the solemn high Mass, the feast Mass is at 10 a.m. The main celebrant and the preacher at this Mass is His Eminence Philip Neri Cardinal Ferrau. And then we have our usual traditional mass in the oratory room of St. Joseph Vaz, his house, at 12 noon. It's in Konkani. And the last two masses of the day are 1, 4 o'clock in Konkani and 5.30 in English, which is, uh, which is uh, set aside especially for working people. As you know, 16th is a Monday. It's a working day. I'll take a few moments more from your schedule just to introduce to you some some, something to do with our, with our facilities here. Uh, actually, in fact, you know these things, but the, this year we have made a little different arrangement so that uh, I didn't want you to miss anything. So we have confessions there. Or you can offer masses to write prayers and petitions, favors, donations if you, are, if you will. Then you can buy something from our stalls, the religious stall, uh, where the calendar you, you must not miss because it is based on the ongoing uh, synod there are some small, beautiful um, uh, teachings there. And then we have the first aid cell, washrooms, uh, fair stalls, drinking water all over the place. And then to take care of our hunger and thirst, uh, St. Joseph Vaz, Kentin, and all this at your service. In fact, my dear friends, to be very frank, some of these facilities like, like stall and uh, this is, uh, canteen, are not to make any, 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 any profit or business, but then it's all for your it's all for, for your good and, and at your service. The printed annual calendars of the Sanctuary of St. Joseph Vaz are available here and at the Sanctuary as well. During the days of the Novena and the Feast, the Sanctuary of St. Joseph Vaz will be open to pilgrims and devotees for the veneration of the statue of St. Joseph Vaz from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. and from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the evening. 7 p.m., sorry. 
Those wishing to do readings or take up any parts of the liturgy for tomorrow are requested to report in the sacristy now or maybe tomorrow before the Mass. The daily four o'clock Konkani Mass, the daily four o'clock Konkani Mass during the days of Novena has been uh, set aside, I, I wouldn't say set aside, a special facility is given to this Mass for those brothers and sisters of ours who have a hearing impact, impairment. So the masses will be interpreted in, the, in, 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 in science, in science, so that they also will profit from it. So those who are, say, deaf and dumb and disabled, they are not out of place in our church. We also pay attention to them, and that's why this facility is also offered to them, those who have a difficulty in hearing. So they have this 4 o'clock mass regular where the, uh, where the Mass is interpreted in sign language. So also that 10 o'clock High Mass will be the same, like it will be interpreted in the sign language. Please cooperate with the volunteers. As you know, they are working very hard. Rise up very early and come here. And please cooperate, even though you may have a little uh, reservations about the park here, parking. Maybe you want a better place or do, don't want to park here because of convenience and all that. Please bear up with us because, you know, once you, once you destroy the order, then everybody suffers. Suppose you suddenly park your vehicle in the middle, then you put others into trouble. So please consider these things and cooperate with our volunteers, especially the parking uh, volunteers. Thank you. Kindly stand up. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please repeat after me. Novena prayer to Saint Joseph was loving father, loving father to the wonders, to the wonders of, his mercy, of his mercy your son, your son sowed the seeds, sowed the seeds of, your word of your word into the heart, into the heart of, people. of people following in his footsteps following in his footsteps your servant, your servant Saint Joseph was Saint Joseph was, spent his whole life, spent his whole life doing, good doing good by the inspiration, by the inspiration of, the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit and under the and under the patronage of the Virgin Mary, of the Virgin Mary. And, so, and so he showed us, he showed us that, we too that we too can win, can win the, crown the crown of blessedness, of blessedness by, walking by walking in the footsteps, in the footsteps of, your son. of your son. We rejoice that, we rejoice that you, placed you placed your sin, your sin on his heroic life, on his heroic life. and inspired, and inspired your holy, church your holy Church to declare him, to declare him a saint. Yes. Now, now, to the intercession, intercession we, implore we implore you to grant us, to grant us this, favor. this favor. Pray silently for your intention. We make this prayer, make this prayer to, Christ to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we leave this holy place, let us pledge to love and respect the sentiment, the freedom and tenets of others' faith, just as Saint Joseph was, did all his life. Let us sing the final hymn in Konkani, Zuze Vaza Amcha Baba. Jesus. 
मोगाड मुझे बाबा बोली नो तुम का सोगलंग दिव बोरी सांस दिवो गुड इवनिंग टू बाकी उन जुसे वाज अम चक गोइंग तमान दिवसीज दिचा आस्करे चे पुरबे ची नव दिसांची तैयारी जोरान सालू आसा कहीं सुनी करूँ पांच दिस के ले सोवेरी सकामी पावलियों बारा बीर जनिराचे ब्रेस्टर आमचे दौड़े मुकराज विश्व इदोल लतो वो राग क्रोध पालोवुन शांति समाधान जुड़ून जेजुत सो पाटलाओ करुया और दिस बेटो इला डिओसिज जिचा शिक्षणिक अनि तोरन अटेंचा वावरा पसोत तोशेंस ये दिसानी कहीं वारदान पर सोत अमी मागोत है लाऊं आई सभी मागता हूँ दोन वारदान पर सोत सोकरनी वेरना वारा द द डिनर यू ऑफ वेरना आम चे मध्य असली दंचे पर सोत अमी मागला थानी आम चे पर सोत मागला नौ पंद्रह चमिसाक अन्य आता संजीचा वेलार चार चमिसाक कहना कोना आम चे मधे ओवारा दसा अन्य तंका आमी पुणे उन कुशल दाताओं देवाक आर्गनिताओं तुमका आर्गनिताओं अतः तुमका जाना जाऊँग अनि जायते पौटे ऑशिंस आमी तुमका संगताओं को लिट करताओं फॉर योर इनफॉरमेशन वैरना वारदा काल ये तत्यो फिरगोजो यो कांसावली कुंडसुवा माजोड़दा वैरन नागवदे वैरना नुवे केलोसी उतोड़दा वेल्सां अनि वैरन कहना कोना वरदा खाली था त्यो फिरगुजो यो आगोंदा अंजदीवा बाटपाल कहना कोना चिपले गालजी बागा लोलिए अनि सादोल्शे तुम कहाँ बाबा मुड़ीनो इतने जनांग पुड़े उन माँ का कोरेंस कुशल का ही भक्ता जाइते जनांग तुम कहाँ जाइतो कुटिना ये पुड़ले अस्तुर आंगा योंग आइज बिष्टो में कड़ो कहीं दिस नहीं कामन सो दिस तो तोरी जायते जरानी वेड करूँ लीव गेवून अनि ये ते अपलो यो पाँच सौ बंदा बोस करूँ जायते त्यागी त्यागी जीविता वर्वी तुमी अंगा पावलेंत देखो तुम काओ आदि आदि से दिओ बने कुरुमंटा अनि तुम का सौग लेंग एमी साची बेटेक आऊँ यो कर दि� Kerid bahsi na yo karita am cuma de karena ko na awara dasa, tum ka soglya ki misa chi betek mai moga so yo kar, ani magtan dewa lagi, joshya dor misar magtan, ki e bete burbi dewa chi uport besawa am chir wot chi mund, ko na kuts je e novena chi misan ata pelnya sa ten sukong favona, am ka soglya te favos angzai bagiun zuzai faza che mozotin. अनेक जगह तो आमचा वो दान अमी कर पाचे ऐसा तेही अमी करो गुर्जे चे बोरे बशेन सोगले लानविकाएन 
भक्तीपणान ओतम्याचे उर्बेन मागतात तेन्ना आमचे लागीं जाबाब दिवन गीतां गावून त्या त्या वेळार आमची शिताबेन आमी वांटो घेऊन आमचे दोन पड्डे आसले पळ स्क्रीन्स आसात आमच्याच बऱ्याक थंय उतरां आमकां मेळटात म्हणटच एकाच उतरान बाबा भणीनो जाता तितले बरी मिसाची बॅट भक्तीची करूंक आम्ही वावरुया ज्या वरवीं देव आमकां बागेऊन जुजे वाजाची मुजोतीन जायतीन देणी बेसावान दितलो हेच म्हजे आवडे आणि मोगाचो योकार दिवन आम्ही बरे भाशेन मिसाची भेटेन वांटो घेऊंक तुमकां हांव आमंत्रण करता सुरवातेक आम्ही गीत गायतले हो देवा मोगाक बाबा भयणीनो तुमकां सगळ्यांक सांत जुजे वाजाच्या नोव्हेनाच्या सव्या दिसाक येवकार राग क्रोध आसलो तितल्या सुवातांनी शांती समाधान शिंपडावंक सांत जुजे वाज वावुरलो हेच करूंक आयचो विषय आमकां हुस्कायता हे मनान धरून सांत जुजे वाजा भाशेन आम्ही शांती समाधानाचे दूत कशे जाऊंक येता हाचेर लक्ष घालून गीत गावया देवा मोगाक गायात बापाचे आणि पुताचे आणि पवित्र आत्म्याचे नावीन आमच्या सुमिया जेजू क्रेस्ताची कुरपा बापाचो मोग आणि पवित्र आत्म्याचो एकवट तुमचे सोबे आस तुमचे सोबे आस मोगाच्या भावा भोईनी नो खबरां पत्रांचेर टिवीचेर वहेरा माध्यमांतल्यान आम्ही दोर दिसा जोगळी झुजांच्यो खबरो पळेता आणि आयकोता देसा देसा मोदे झुजां दोर्मा मोदे रागाची भावना रागाक क्रोधाक लागून मार फार आणि होताय आख्या संवसारान देसा द्वेसाचे आणि तिरस्कोराचे वातावरण निर्माण झाला असल्या वाद मुद्द्यांचेर शांती समाधान करून आयचो सेवा धोरण उलो मारता आयचो विषय राग क्रोध पालोवन शांती समाधान सोडून जेजूचो पाठलाव करूया जेजू पुनोजीवन जाऊन 
आपल्या शिसांक भेटता तेदना शालूम मुणगे शांती तुमचे सवे या उतरांनी तो तांकां नमान करी जेजू शांतीचो कुवर रागाच्या आकट्यान जोलटल्या समाजाक तशेंच आमच्या कुटुंबान आणि शेजार सामाऱ्यांक शांती हाडूं जेजू सोडता शांती खातीर आपले जिवीत कोरची लोलो मार्टीन लुप्टर किंग ज्युनियर असे उद्गारलो डार्कनस कॅनॉट ड्रायव्ह आउट डार्कनस ओली लाईट कॅन डू डॅट हेट कॅनॉट ड्रायव्ह आउट हेट ओली लव्ह कॅन डू डॅट कालोकाच्यान कालोक नो पोयत करूंक शकना फकत उजवाडाच्यान कालोक नो पोयत करूंक शकता द्वेसाच्यान द्वेसाक नो पोयत करूंक शकना फकत मोगाच्यान राग नो पोयत करूंक शकता आयच्या कालार पाप साहेब फ्रांसेक सोम्या जेजूचो शांतीचो संदेश आपल्या उतरांतल्यान आणि कोरण्यांतल्यान शिकयता आम्ही बायकोन झुजेवाजाचे पोरवेक तयार जाताना शांती समाधान हाडूंक आणि जेजूच्या पोरवे झुजे जेजूच्या पावलांनी चलूंक बायगोन झुजे वाज आमकां एक श्रेष्ठ नमुनो जाऊन आसा बायगोन झुजे वाज आपल्या त्रास कोष दितोल्या सवे शांतीन वागलो आमच्या जिवितान कुटुंबान गांवान देसांत आणि संवसारान शांती येऊंक आणि आम्ही शांतीचे दूत जाऊं या मिसान कुरपा मागूया आयचो दीस ज्योसिजीच्या शिक्षणीक आणि तोरनाटाच्या वावरा खातीर भेटयला ताचो वावर फोलादीक जाऊंक मागूया तशेंच वेर्ना आनी कानकोना ह्या वावराडा पासत आयज मागूया राग क्रोध पयस करून शांती समाधान हाडूंक आमकां आयचो विषय आयकत आमकां आपयता तेन्ना आमकां ह्या वेळार आमीच विचारूया खरेंच हांव शांतीचो मनीस जाला गाय जेसून मोगा बोगसण्या वरवीं आमकां शांतीचो मारग दाखयलो हो मारग हांव चल्ला गाय शांतीची मनशां जावंक चुकल्या हांव देखून सगले खालतीखायन ह्या वेळार देवाचे काकुतेक आमी उलो मारूया हांव पातखी स्वर पदवेदार देवा आणि तुमकां बाबा भयणीनो मसोगन्याय सारून सांगता मनान चितून तनान उचारून वाईट आदारून बरे सोडून आवे जायती भारका केल्यान ओम सो प्रात ओम सो प्रात ओम सो रो प्रात या बसोत भाग्यून सदान सांगवार मुरगी सगळ्यां दुर्था आणि भक्ता आणि तुमकां बाबा भयणीनो म्हणजे खातीर आमच्या सर्वेस्परा देवा लागी विनंती प्रात म्हणून प्रार्थून मागता सर पदवेदार देव आमची काकलूत करूंक आणि आमची पात खां बोगसून आमकां सासनाच्या जिवितात पाबूं Great. 